What's good, Charles? Boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I figured when I dropped my uh, Omos versus Seth Rollins video, pretty much implying that, uh, not even implying, I pretty much said, yeah, this definitely looks like Vince booked this. I knew I was going to get some comments, some people talking about, oh, here we go with the when things are bad narrative, Vince booked it all of a sudden. I knew I was going to get those comments. I, I knew there was going to be those people that just want to live in this delusional world and not think that Vince has some type of creative control and creative input. The guy has said it himself on television. He may not be in the weeds, but he'll be up, you know, dealing with other things up above. That's bullshit. Vince has been back. And you can tell by just how certain things have been booked. You can tell how certain things have been shown on television. You could have you could have easily seen that on the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. One of the worst Raws after WrestleMania ever. You can easily tell. And then the argument becomes, oh, so I guess Triple H was doing everything perfect when he was in charge. No. There are definitely some things that Triple H did not uh, capitalize on. There's things that could have been done a lot better. But at the same time, it's leagues better than what we have been getting for decades with Vince McMahon. And I am one of the people that can say I grew up watching wrestling in the early 90s. Part of the Attitude Era, part of the Ruthless Aggression Era, even part of the PG Era. And there have been some great things that Vince McMahon has came up with. And there's also been equally some god-awful, horrible, trash garbage that Vince McMahon has put on our television screen. And as the years have gone by, it's been mostly garbage. You guys, if you guys know me, there was one point I stopped watching wrestling for about good, maybe three to four years. I stopped watching wrestling because I just didn't care. I wasn't interested. I, I was done. I was over it. And then I came back after the infamous CM Punk promo. And then from there, the rest is history. So the point I'm trying to prove here and the point I'm trying to make is at the end of the day, anytime people, fa fans say, oh, this is a something that doesn't make sense, is nonsensical, or that sounds like Vince McMahon, a lot of times, especially as of late, it definitely has been Vince McMahon-isms. And that's the truth. We've been dealing with it for years. And it's kind of sometimes easier to spot it. Yes, Triple H had some questionable booking decisions as well. You would think Vince McMahon was in charge. But I do think sometimes Triple H just, you know what I'm saying, maybe tried to appease people. Maybe tried to make everybody happy. But ultimately, it didn't make sense. Like, bringing back the women's tag titles. That was a mistake. That was not good. That was not entertaining. I mean, it, it started off as something potentially, but that was a mistake in hindsight. They should have let those titles, he should have let those titles stay where they were, dead. So, but I, I, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not here to talk about that. I, I really wanted to let y'all know and, and show y'all how delusional individuals can be when it comes to anytime you criticize Vince McMahon or say, oh, this definitely sounds like Vince McMahon. How people just sit up there and put on their superhero cape and be like, the motherfucker hasn't done anything wrong. Granted, the people do the same thing for Triple H. But at the same time, I can understand why people do the same thing with Triple H more than Vince. Because at least Triple H's track record has been a lot better from what we've seen in NXT and on the main roster than what it is in WWE um, or what it's been with Vince McMahon as head of creative for so, so, so long. So, I posted my video. Let me go to Twitter real quick for you guys. Hold on. So, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Ross's Clutch. So, I posted this. I said, this match, uh, this match makes absolute no sense. They haven't even interacted with each other. 
uh, uh, with each other for this to be a thing. I posted my thumbnail for my recent video and the link to the video to check it out. Of course, some people, you know, weren't in agreement. But this individual right here, Jay Tidsdale, you are going to be the star of this video because we had a back and forth and there was no getting through to this person. And he's not the only person that I see in the comment section and on Twitter with this same mindset. So I wanted to put this out here because I, I want y'all to see how delusional people can be when it comes to not realizing Vince still has a lot more power than than y'all want to you know admit and Vince has been the problem with what we've seen on WWE televisions for so long some of y'all fans are ridiculous I like it Triple H booked it I hate it Vince is back a lot of y'all fans need to touch grass just off that alone I mean Triple H has been doing some great stuff I mean I can I'm a testament to the fact that Dub wasn't even watching the program like that as much but once Triple H had taken over, he started watching it more because he started enjoying it more. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. I've seen a lot of people say, yo, I've gotten back into wrestling because of what's been going on. The fact that all these shows have been selling out in advance when Triple H had been, you know, booking the shows, it's, it, it, it writes itself. It's simple. People thought the product to be fresh. It wasn't perfect and everything that... Triple H booked was not perfect, but it was it made sense and you cared more. Half the time when during the Vince McMahon era of Monday Night Raw, you would only get maybe 20 minutes of in-ring wrestling on a three-hour show. But that's neither here nor there. I don't want to make this video too long. So my response: most of Vince booking hasn't been good for years. This isn't anything new. You don't get it. Y'all act like Triple H books everything perfect, uh, everything perfectly. Every booker uh, books something good or bad. Even the great Paul Heyman had some bad booking. One uh, one week is y'all. Uh, one week is a show y'all like. Y'all give Triple H. Uh, y'all give Triple H. If the show uh, bad, y'all say, "Oh, it's Vince." LOL. That's corny as fuck. Well, recently one of the shows was bad. The Raw After Mania. That shit was awful. That was booked by fucking Vince. People could. People have talked about it. It's been reported. He booked the show. He was changing the show midway through. What are we talking about? What are we talking about, bro? So, my response, Triple H definitely has some duds too. But for the most part, it's made sense. But you can't tell me this doesn't reek of Vince booking. If you've been watching WWE for a while, you definitely know the frustration. I've been watching since watching WWE since the mid 80s. So he should know how fucking dumb sometimes Vince's ideas have been. The booking doesn't frustrate me. If it's bad, I'll just say it's bad and keep on watching. And there we go, right there. There we go. He, he's one of those fans that even if it's bad, he'll say it's bad and keep on watching. But we're saying something is bad and we're voicing our opinion, but it's wrong for us to say it because why are we not giving the same heat for Triple H? Why are we assume Triple H didn't do it when we know this is how Vince operates? But that's neither here nor there. I'll say it's bad and keep on moving. I don't care who books it. If Vince books something good and it was and it was told y'all wouldn't believe it, the bloodline story that you love started by him. Now, this is when I really started getting in because I was like, he clearly doesn't know. Here's the thing that wasn't... Uh, um, Here's the, here's the thing. That wasn't even his decision. You know that, right? Roman and Paul came up with the idea for him to go heel. That was the only way Roman would agree to come back. For every good idea Vince had, it's been thousands that are shit. And for those who don't know, if you didn't watch the Evil uh, docuseries for, uh, I think it was season one. I watched it a while back. When Roman was out or whatnot, and he was contemplating the coming back during the pandemic era, he made it very clear. He said it in the doc. He made it very clear. Vince, I'm not coming back unless I'm a heel. And he got with Paul Heyman and they went with it. Vince was okay with it, but he knew that was his top guy. That's his top guy. And he's like, I'm not coming back unless we change something. That was, a, that was Roman's idea. I'm pretty sure Vince would have loved for him to come back as a babyface, but the people knew and he knew 
that wasn't the right way to go Roman has been a company guy. He's done everything that Vince McMahon has asked him to do. So I think he earned the right to input his own booking decisions. A lot of the great stuff that you've seen in WWE in the history was him letting the wrestler give their input after they've done their dues and they've done everything for Vince. If they were on that level where they could talk to Vince and be like, hey, I think we should do this. Let me give it a try. Sometimes Vince would say, okay, and that's great. I wish he would do that with a lot more talent. I'm not disregarding that he at least allowed him to do that. But don't sit up there and make, sh make it seem like Vince came up with that. No, he did not come up with that. Roman has said it himself. He greenlit it, but he didn't come up with it. Let's not act like this nigga came up with the bloodline shit. No, he greenlit it and probably added some stuff here and there. But he mostly let Roman and Paul handle that. And it's been fucking great you can tell they've let them just do their thing they got that all right so my response to that was here is the thing that wasn't even his decision you know that right roman and paul came up with the idea for him to go heal that was the only way roman could would agree to come back for every good uh uh of the i think i've already read that for every good idea vince had it's been a thousand more that shit See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, now Vince can't get this credit, but if Triple H was booking it, y'all would have gave it to him. So is Vince to blame for damage control and uh, not looking great as a faction too? Mind you, I already said Triple H hasn't been the best at booking either. He gets criticism too. You know Roman said that himself on the Evil documentary, right? Go watch it. Go watch it. Vince still wanted him as a face. And no, Triple H booking of damage control hasn't been that good either. Hell, bring hell him bringing back the women tag titles was a waste. But once again, I said Triple H hasn't been perfect. So I'm agreeing with him, but he's still moving the goalposts. I watched the thing. A wrestler can come up with an idea, but the booker still has the gas to book it, right? Give the credit to Vince booking it. Damage control and Bailey was Bailey uh, uh was Bailey's idea. If Triple H would have uh booked them great, I'm sure you would others would have given him credit, right? Yeah, he greenlit the idea, but Roman and Paul's idea, but that was Roman and Paul's idea. Vince wanted him to be a face. I guess you I guess you was okay with the big dog Roman that people couldn't stand. Let's be real. The whole big dark thing, the only reason fans turned on it because CM Punk told uh people Vince wanted him to look strong in the in his matches and people wanted Daniel Bryan to be the face. It has nothing to do with Roman being the face. That last tweet, I didn't even know he tweeted that because I actually stopped because I just did I couldn't care. I couldn't care less. Delusional. This nigga say he been watching wrestling since the eighties. What the fuck have you been watching? You want to know why Roman didn't get over? It was partially Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, this is true. It's it, but at the end of the day, if he would have gotten much over if he was a fucking heel, because we knew what he was. They were trying to do with him. Yes, Daniel Bryan was a part of that. But it had everything to do with him to being a face because we knew people wanted Daniel Bryan at the time. That's all they cared about. So I get that. But him being a face, it didn't come off believable. And we were right. We were right. It didn't come off believable. It didn't. He came off corny. The only time he worked initially was when he was in the shield because he didn't talk much. He was he seemed cool. But then they started pushing him like they did John Cena. And at that point, the rest was history. What are we fucking talking about, bro? Like, seriously. It does have everything to do with him being a face because no one wanted to buy into him. Outside of adding in the extra fact that everyone wanted Roman, everyone wanted Daniel Bryan to be the guy again wanting him to try to you know reclaim the championships he's never lost at wrestlemania 31 everybody wanted that it didn't work and once again even after the whole daniel bryan situation they still kept shoving him down our throats and it didn't work it didn't work ever the only time it ever worked is when he was legitimately diagnosed with leukemia that's when people actually cared because this is a real situation but then after he came back 
and it still wasn't he started losing it people started booing him again it didn't work they literally sat up there and fed roman all these top other guys that people wanted to see like samoa joe hell braun Strowman got over because people hated roman that much and daniel bryan had nothing to do with that what about them other years like can we stop with the delusional take that vince mcmahon hasn't done any wrong my guy has been out of touch with wrestling for years and i only say this as someone that's a big fan of wrestling he hasn't had that genius idea like that in quite some time and i'm sure he had some stuff that was pretty fantastic i'm sure he has but at the same time come on bro it's it's few far in between i'm actually missing a tweet because there was another tweet I, I didn't even know he kept he he kept he keeps responding. I didn't even I stopped after a while to, to record this video. When was the last time he actually gave Vince any credit? Two thousand five, when word got out that Cena was gonna be uh, marketed as a face face turn on him because they were with him with the rap ish. All of a sudden, oh five fans changed. A lot of these fans are slow. The worst thing to do is to always listen to fans. Look at AEW. That that makes. Mind y'all, he's been a wrestling fan since the mid '80s. I don't, I don't know. I, 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 okay. Well, I can't find the one tweet, but basically there was a tweet talking about the build up between Rhea and Charlotte and and uh, Oscar and Bianca, and where was the outrage for the the build up for that, the no build for that? And I was like, what is he talking about? He literally said there was no bill for Rhea and Charlotte and Asuka and uh, Bianca when they actually had billed. Rhea and Charlotte had history with each other. Asuka and Bianca were like a team for a little bit for a while when they were going against damage control. What are, what are, what are we talking about? There was way more build there than what we got for Omos and fucking Seth Rollins, which had no build. I was trying to find a tweet. I couldn't find it, but it is what it is. All I'm saying is, bro, at the end of the day, I made this video to put this out there to let y'all know. Man. You can agree to disagree, but there's really nothing to disagree upon. Vince has final say-so on a lot of situations. He just does. It doesn't matter what Triple H title is. He can be a content creator, you know, chief content creator. That's cool. But Vince still owns majority shares vince still has that power i don't i don't know what y'all need to how y'all can't get that Th that's just what it was the only reason vince stepped down because of the shit he was dealing with is as simple as that and if you can't you can't process that i hate to say it you're delusional bro there's no conspiracy it's a thing vince vince can do that he can they can't kick him out unless he does something egregious he can do that and for anyone that wants to call out some stuff that you know don't make any sense and you know that's something that vince would do what's wrong with that i don't know man i i'm not always in agreement with wrestling fans and their opinions on what should be done and how it should be done but i think a lot of us can agree that having Vince McMahon in any control on creative side of things is not it's not it's not good it's not what it used to be it'll never be what it used to be Vince books for Vince and if you guys haven't realized that like I said you're delusional and you need to get out this fantasy world or maybe you're just okay with mediocrity if you're okay with mediocrity cool because clearly this guy Jay Tisdale is cool with mediocre mediocrity shows mediocrity storylines all that he's cool with it and if he is that's more power to him but for me that's someone that's been a fan that someone has seen some great wrestling and someone has seen some garbage wrestling i would prefer it to be on the great side as much as possible and i'm not gonna sit up there and pretend like the motherfucker ain't back there he is accept it if triple h does some bad shit i'll be the first to tell you on stream that shit wasn't fun. That wasn't entertaining. It was boring. These past couple 
Raws and Smackdowns have been kind of mid outside of some good matches here and there. And Triple H, I'm sure, has a lot of control over that. So he gets the blame for that. People have been saying the shows himself weekly have not been that good. They've just been okay. But the pay-per-views have been fantastic. You give him praise and you also give him some criticism. But Vince, he's been doing this for decades. And a lot of the stuff that he has come up with is just not that good. So comment down below. Let me know, man. Am I tripping? Do you guys think? Vince McMahon still has some power back there in creative on what we see on television. Or do you guys think that I'm tripping and a lot of us, a lot of people that agree with me are tripping and know this is all Triple H. This is all his doing. We don't know what we're talking about. We just want to blame everything on Vince and yada, yada, yada. Let me know if you which side of the coin you are. Because I'm going to be honest with you, man. Some of y'all, I may not agree with y'all, but some of y'all, the... Y'all letting the delusion warp your brain to the point where you really think Vince can never and has never done wrong. He has. It's Vince we're talking about. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still young. Speedy YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all keeping me. See you on the next one. Peace.